we seem to have a bit of an interesting situation here. She seems to have bitten off more than she can chew, this lioness, and I think that she's really, really struggling to keep up with all of these cubs. They've now split apart. They're into two groups. She's found the one that was lost, and now she's heading back towards the others. I think there's another one behind that bush. And uh, the others have gone off into a thicket, not towards the den site. So it's really quite, she's now calling. You can see her calling. We're gonna keep our distance so that the cubs don't just hear engine, that they can hear her calling. And we'll see if the others don't come back out this way. I think we should perhaps go to a Facebook Live here. I think this is an unfolding story that's going to be quite interesting. back to those of you on Facebook who saw us earlier. For those of you who didn't, we're sitting here with a lioness of the Black Rock Pride who's gone to fetch nine cubs. She managed to get them all out of the den. They were walking towards or with her towards a kill. Then they seemed to get tired and they started to split apart. We've had probably, I think it's seven of them have gone off on their own into a thicket, seemingly without her. They're quite nervous of what's going on, I think. And then, and she waited in the shade for them, and two more got lost in between the group. Now she's come back for those two, but the other seven have gone down into a thicket. We don't know exactly where they are or why they went there or what they're doing. And I think that this is their first really long foray away from the den. And I think that's probably why they're a bit nervous. They're also probably a little tired walking this far. Those two cubs are from two different litters. Almost certainly they're different sizes. I'm going to follow her. And the reason for that is that I don't want to get in the, in the face of the youngsters that are on their own over there. I think we might give them a bit of a fright. I'm sorry about the wind noise. It is very windy out here at the moment, and we will try and come up with a solution for that sometime soon. So what we're gonna do is keep our distance from her, see where she goes with these two cubs. Does she leave them and go and fetch the others? Does she just carry on and take them there, back to the kill, and then send one of the other lionesses back to fetch them? Who knows? I think this wind will also make the other little cubs a bit nervous, especially now that they've become separated from this female. And I think a little bit like a child in a, in a shopping center, they've become separated because they were messing around. She didn't necessarily notice. And suddenly we have a situation where they've become separated from their safety. So there she is underneath a bush with just two of the cubs and she's lying down now still about 400 meters or quarter of a mile from the kill so these two who like i say i think are from different litters i think they're different sizes will have a suckle now perhaps and we're just going to wait here. I'm going to. I've got an eye on the den, the other side. And let me just see if they can't. Not going back there. Now, Craig, you want to know if another mother could be calling the cubs, and that's why they've left. And Craig, no, because the mothers are the opposite direction from the one that those other cubs went. And I'm just training my binoculars. I'm not looking at what you're looking at now. I'm training my binoculars back towards where they've come from. And I can't see, there are vehicles going up towards there. Maybe the little cubs have got through the drainage system and they're going back towards their den site. I'm not sure though. It's very difficult to figure out what on earth's going on here. Little cubs are still calling. I feel like we would have seen them emerging, don't you, Fergus? 
So it's quite a it's quite a difficult situation this to figure out and to understand. Because now we have a situation where seven cubs are separated from the safety of their den and the safety of an adult lioness. And you know, it could so easily go from nine to two within a heartbeat if something happens. If they come across one hyena, they come across one sort of strange male lion, which I don't think they would, but a hyena is a real danger now. How she's managed to... Oh, that's very cute. Yeah, Sandy, she probably could. You say, could she be able to call another lioness to help her? Possibly, but she's got herself between a rock and a hard place now because the, she's 400 meters from the kill. And the lionesses are a long, long way away. And in this wind, there's not a chance that they'll hear her calling. What we're gonna do is sneak forward. I'm just gonna see if there isn't a lioness coming from the kill site, perhaps. Let's just have a look here. You say, Lynn, won't the other lionesses go to look for the cubs? Yes, well, they might. But when is the question, because they don't know what's happened here. So there, you're, I'm just going to show you the vehicles where the kill site is. There the vehicles are, still waiting. They, they've done exactly the opposite of us. They've decided, well, let's go and sit by the kill and wait for the cubs and the lioness to arrive. And now this lioness has been forced to stop in the shade. There she is. She's looking towards the kill. But the other cubs are not here. And I will tell you that there are a few vehicles back towards the den site. And I think they're just waiting there patiently to see if the cubs don't come back. I don't know if a five-week-old cub would have the ability to make their way there. Well, that's that's the question from Megan, and the one that I don't think I can answer. You say, are the cubs old enough to make their way back to the den site on their own? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think a, a five-week-old cub is very small still. And you know, in theory, they would only be introduced to the pride when they were six weeks old. So it's all rather interesting. Keeping an eye out. I think what we should do is just drive very slowly along this road and see if we can't figure out what's going on and then uh, we'll leave you to get on with your day and come back to you as and when something happens here. So let's just drive gently along here. We'll leave this lioness in the shade of her bush knowing that she'll either be between here and the kill or between here and the den site. And drive very slowly and carefully and just see if we can't get a quick view of the other seven who have very well one hesitates to use the term stupidly because of course they're very little so very um in typical sort of childlike or young mammal fashion got themselves into a little bit of trouble now they may have done this before of course i mean we don't know We've had spent limited time with this pride. But I really feel like we would have seen them emerging from here if they were going back to the den. But a lot of these vehicles did kind of skedaddle up towards the den site. So maybe they have been very clever and got themselves up there. We're just gonna drive very slowly along see if we can't pick them up. I must apologize again for the wind noise. It is very windy out here. Let's just have a look. 
I'll show you where the den site is from where we are sitting once we're on the crest of this little ridge. And then we'll look between here. They disappear down into this thicket over here. And it's quite possible that they will sort of use the drainage system to make their way back towards the den, which is, I think, what those other vehicles are hoping they will do. I'm not going to drive in there because I think that will give them a fright if they are still there. We want to let them calm down, especially in wind like this. We don't want them to be in the slightest bit afraid. So we'll just pop our heads through here and then I think we'll probably make our way back towards that lioness. Yeah, I'm afraid we're going to do a little bit more searching through here, try and figure out what's happened. Uh, while we do that, we're going to let you get on with your day. Thank you very much for joining. We'll keep you posted, so keep an eye for those pings as we go live. We'll see you next time. Thank you.